In the wake of an in-flight engine failure that killed a Southwest Airlines passenger, the carrier has started ultrasonic inspections covering virtually at its entire fleet of more than 700 planes. The Dallas-based carrier cancelled 40 flights over the weekend and an additional 129 flights Monday as it moved to conduct the inspections of the fan blades on all of its CFM-56 engines over the next 30 days, exceeding the requirement of a Federal Aviation Administration order last week. The airline said that about 1% to 2% of flights would be disrupted over the next several days as it conducts inspections. The accident took place when an engine fan blade fractured, sending shrapnel into the fuselage, killing Jennifer Reardon, a bank executive and mother of two from New Mexico. The flight from New York to Dallas made an emergency landing in Philadelphia. It was the first fatality of a passenger in Southwest's 51-year history and the first passenger to die on a U.S.-based carrier in nine years. The FA and CFM International, the manufacturer of the CFM-56 engines, both called on Friday for ultrasonic inspections within 20 days of engines with at least 30,000 cycles, or takeoffs and landings. Such engines typically are about 20 years old, and the FA said its order would apply to 352 engines on planes flown in the United States and 681 engines flown worldwide by various carriers. Southwest said it is meeting the FA requirement and going further by inspecting all CFM-56 engines, including those that have not reached the 30,000 cycle threshold. CFM-56 engine is one of the most widely used jet engines for commercial use in the world, according to its manufacturer. United Airlines operates 547 Boeing 737 planes with CFM engines, according to Boeing's website. About 400 of those planes were delivered to United at least 20 years ago, the website shows. United Airlines previously said it had already begun inspections of the engines, but a representative declined to elaborate Monday on the progress. American Airlines operates 305 Boeing 737 planes that are powered by the CFM-56 engines and all of those were delivered within the last 19 years, according to the Boeing website. Airline officials say that none of those American Airlines planes have yet experienced 30,000 cycles and therefore are not required to be inspected under the FA directive. Still, American Airlines officials said last week that they had already begun testing the fan blades on the CFM-56 engines in response to a proposed inspection rule issued last year that was not finalized until Friday, after the accident. Southwest said it will inspect all of the roughly 700 Boeing 737 to 700 and 737 to 800 model Southwest planes that are installed with CFM-56 engines. Only about a dozen planes in the Southwest fleet will not need to be inspected because they don't use those types of CFM engines. The ultrasonic inspections will focus on the fan blades because inspectors suspect the cause of the accident was metal fatigue, which cannot necessarily be detected visually. Southwest experienced a similar engine failure on the same model engine two years ago, forcing an emergency landing. CFM International, a joint venture of GE and Safran Aircraft Engines of France, said the inspection is conducted with the engine on the wing and takes about four hours per engine. Southwest said it was doing what it could to prevent delays and cancellations. This week, we will continue working to minimize flight disruptions by performing inspections overnight while aircraft are not flying and utilizing spare aircraft during the day, when available, the airline said in a statement Monday. We anticipate minimal delays or cancellations each day this week due to the inspections. Caption Sebastian Stan, who plays Bucky in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, introduces the film during the Marvel movie marathon at the El Capitan Theater. Sebastian Stan, who plays Bucky in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, introduces the film during the Marvel Movie Marathon at the El Capitan Theater. Caption A suspect in the Golden State Killer case, a former police officer, has been arrested after decades of searching. Authorities say, he is responsible for 12 killings, 45 rapes, and more than 120 residential burglaries between 1976 and 1986. A suspect in the Golden State Killer case, a former police officer, has been arrested after decades of searching. Authorities say, he is responsible for 12 killings, 45 rapes, and more than 120 residential burglaries between 1976 and 1986. Caption 3 films down, 8 to go until, Avengers, Infinity War, we check in with moviegoers to see how they are feeling. Three films down, eight to go until, Avengers, Infinity War, we check in with moviegoers to see how they are feeling. Caption Drive. Ronnie Jackson, White House physician since 2006, faces a slew of accusations compiled by Democrats. Drive. 
Ronnie Jackson, White House physician since 2006, faces a slew of accusations compiled by Democrats caption, The El Capitan Theater in Hollywood is the scene of a 30-plus hour Marvel movie marathon that began Wednesday. Our curiosity correspondent, Benjamin Crutcher, will take part in experience, which culminates in the first screening of Avengers, Infinity War, the El Capitan Theater in Hollywood is the scene of a 30-plus hour Marvel movie marathon that began Wednesday. Our curiosity correspondent, Benjamin Crutcher, will take part in experience, which culminates in the first screening of Avengers, Infinity War, Hugo.Martin at LATimes.com to read more about the travel and tourism industries, follow at Hugo Martin on Twitter. Updates. 4.10 p.m. This article was updated to include information about additional Southwest flight cancellations and inspections of Boeing 737 planes operated by American Airlines and United Airlines. This article was originally published at 12.50 p.m. A prior version of this story said Southwest Airlines did not need to inspect about a dozen planes that do not use CFM engines. Those planes do not use the model of engine that failed in last week's accident. 